How's it going everybody? I have another epic video for you. Why is it an epic video? Because I have two new Fronius machines. One right here is called the Transtig 210. This one right here is called the Transtig 170. Both these machines run on 110, 220 volt power, which makes it easy for portable use, but also maybe your garage. Uh, they do stick and TIG. They both have high frequency included for TIG starts, which means you don't have to touch the tungsten to the work. So you don't have to worry about contamination on the tungsten. And this one, the TransTIG 210 is 210 amps output. The TransTIG 170 is 170 amps output. So we're gonna use these two machines today. And I bought a kit online, Weld Metals Online kit, and it is a 3D soccer ball. So the kit, comes with a mixture of hexagons and pentagons, but it's a 3D soccer ball. If you go to the website, you can buy these kits for around $80. So I'm gonna put the link below uh, in the description. So we're gonna weld this kit with the TransTIG 210 on 110 power. We are also going to use this TIG torch here uh, with the Jumbo 12 with the gas lens. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Hit that thumbs up. Let's get rolling. Thanks for watching. First things first, make sure you got safety glasses, a welding cap, a face mask, and then also a welding hood and gloves, and then you're ready to go. Uh, I'm using serrated tungsten, which is gray. This works good in DC and AC. We are running DC. I got my makeshift tungsten grinder, but I'm going to grind up about five tungstens in case I dip. All your control from the TIG machine is right here on this torch. So on the right is your arc on, arc off, and on the left is your amperage control. So if you pull down, your amps go up. And if you push up, your amps go down. When I'm ready to grab the TIG torch, I hold it in this position just like this. What's interesting about the Fronius torch is you can rotate the head 360 degrees, which allows you to get in different positions. But also the head's removable. So if you want a head with a gas lens or a stubby head or a flex head, it has the flexibility of all that. Here you can see high frequencies turned on. Gas purge. Up, start current, you can adjust it here. Up slope, main, down slope, end current. Here you can change between 2T, 4T, stick. I'm going to be using Blue Demon 308 LSI in an 045 rod size. Now, before you start TIG welding with the rod, make sure you cut them in half length because with 045, they get a little wobbly. So I cut them down to about this size before I start welding. So if you're doing a lot of tacking, what you wanna do is hold down the purge and hit here. Then tack, set your amount of time, or if you're doing a lot of tacking, go ahead and turn it on, then the main button. Now you can see tack. The tack feature from Fronius is very interesting. One, because it's patent. Two, it sets a predetermined time of pulse at the beginning of the arc start. So instead of you manipulating the weld pool to try to get both materials together, it automatically does it with the pulse. Now you can keep it on the whole time, so if you've got a big project, or you can set the amount of time. One of the biggest issues with stainless is setting your amps too high on the TIG welder. So on the left here we have 125 amps and on the right we have 55 amps. Let's take a closer look at the 125. Take a look at the gray. It's definitely smoked. Uh, I had to add a ton of filler wire just to fill it in with that amount of amps. Now let's take a look at 55 amps. A lot more color, no gray. You can take your time, dab the rod in. You know, it's not overheating the stainless steel. So you can definitely tell 55 amps is where it's at. 
for this thickness material. Almost complete. I got one more piece and it's gonna be a pain. This is the gonna be the hardest part. Once it's in, then we can weld. Before I started welding on the part, I welded on similar thickness material, partly to do because I wanted to know what amperage settings I need. And about 55 amps, you can tell by this, is about right. You know, at least for me. Everybody has their own thought about what amps works for them, what speeds what size rods but i i like the 55 amp range it was allowing me to do a backward forward motion with the tig torch and dip in the rod also i was able to put a little weave pattern into some of the other joints uh, one thing you want to do is stagger your welds and about a halfway through it you might want to stop for about 10 minutes because it does put a lot of heat in here uh, like i said it took me a couple hours just to weld this out on this next weld seam, I'm going to do a little weave over the joint. On the last one that you just saw, I was doing a little backward forward motion. With this, I'm going to do a, a weave pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the left, dip, right, dip, left, dip, right, dip, left, dip, right, dip. And then you got a song going in your head. <laughs> but, no, that's, that's kind of what I'm doing. I was just seeing what the results were like uh, in comparison to the back and forth and the left and right. One thing I do like about the Fronius torch is you can put it into a 4T trigger to where you can get it down to that end current and do a crater fill at the end so you can tie in the corners really nice. So I'm going to drop that down uh, right here in this corner, pull away, and here you go. Check it out. Looking at the soccer ball, we're not getting a lot of off gray color, so our total heat input in the part is good. I do like the double dab weave, so I'm going to finish out this soccer ball just like this here. Now if you do end up with a kit, do whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable with, because most likely it's going to end up in your kid's room. watching here is the finish soccer ball weld challenge from weld metals online it took me about three hours to complete this about a minute per weld because i was trying to take my time i didn't want to mess up on it so if you do get one of these kits make sure you set aside about three hours of time it was very difficult i wish i had a fitter with me it could have done it as a two-man crew uh again Trans TIG 210, Trans TIG 170, 110, 220 volt with high frequency. They are DC only, so there is no AC capabilities. What does that mean? You can't weld aluminum uh, TIG with it. You can do stick welding with it, and there is a cellulose mode for 6010 and 6011 rods. What kind of questions would you guys have on these machines? Well, you can get a foot pedal with it. So here's the foot pedal. It's a wired foot pedal. There's no Bluetooth foot pedal with it. Uh, it's just a wire pedal right now at the moment and the torch heads themselves you can swap these torch heads out to different types of heads depending on what consumables you want if you want gas lenses also there's stubby heads flex heads and so on but thanks for watching you know what to do hit that subscribe button 
See you in the next video where we'll review both these machines at once. I like the soccer ball rainbows, and I like to play soccer. What about the machines? I don't know. Are they good? Yeah.